हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू वी एल एस आई अकेडमी दिस इज फिजिकल डिजाइन कोर्स लेक्चर 15 ऑन फ्लोर प्लानिंग एंड पार्टीशनिंग इन फिजिकल डिजाइन वेर वी शेल बी लुकिंग एट सम वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग टॉपिक्स फॉर दोज हुर इन अकेडमिक्स एंड प्रोफेशनल इंजीनियरिंग वर्ल्ड सो फार वी हैव सीन वट इनपुट्स आर नीडेड टू स्टार्ट द फिजिकल डिजाइन प्रोसेस एंड हाउ डू वी क्रिएट द लाइब्रेरी वंस लाइब्रेरी विद ऑल द इनपुट्स इज क्रिएटेड देन द डिजाइन कैन बी स्टार्टेड विद फ्लोर प्लानिंग एक्सरसाइज इन दिस वीडियो वी शेल बी लुकिंग एट पार्टीशनिंग एंड द फ्लोर प्लानिंग एक्सरसाइज स्टेप्स First of all we must recall from the previous videos that CMOS schematic here is modeled as a stick diagram in reality so this is a stick diagram it will be like this and this is called as layout of CMOS inverter each logic gate that is implemented in the design is called as standard cell and is modeled as a box like this and stick diagram is implemented inside this box hence from here on each logic gate as called as a standard cell now partitioning of design can be done based on design hierarchy time criticality functionality clock domain design files and the block size let us now learn about how the partitioning is done here we have taken the top level design so this blue colored is top level design inside this we have four blocks so let us assume that this block is cam block this block is let's say video block and uh, this block is let's say cpu and this is let's say alu so these are the four blocks that we have and this top level block the name of this block is let's say controller so let's say controller block has four blocks inside it that is cam video cpu and alu now there can be further more designs which are implemented individually inside each block these blocks so let's say if there are macros in this so it will be something like this let's say there are few macros in cam and few here few here few here so here first of all we need to understand what is macro so this is the standard cell we have seen here this is standard cell then what is macro so any instance that is other than this standard cell and is loaded as a black box you cannot see inside this macro it is a black box so it will be called as ip or intellectual property this ip this is one ip let's say so it could be what kind of ips are there which could be treated as a macro very commonly used are ram rom PLL, <laughs> these are few macros which are very commonly used. In apart from this, there could be analog, uh, analog like ESDs. So these are the macros which are very commonly used in the design. So these are the macros which are present inside CAM, and this CAM itself is a is a total design which is part of hierarchy of the top level controller. How do we call this CAM? in the hierarchical fashion for controller is like this so controller we will write like this controller slash cam is one hierarchy this is how we write the hierarchies second hierarchy let's say is your cpu so how will you call this controller slash cpu similarly controller slash alu and controller slash video this is how you implement a hierarchical top level design and when you call it as flat so the difference between hierarchical and flat is in flat you can see inside this cam also but in hierarchical it will be a black box and the only hierarchy will be visible like this hard macros are very commonly used so as we can see these macros here these are part of these blocks but there is also a possibility that the macros can be part of top level design like this so if let's assume that this macro is m1 inside cpu then how do we call this macro for a top level controller is something like this so this is the controller we will write like this as we told earlier controller and then slash cpu was the design name inside that there is a macro m1 for a top level block in the controller let's say if there is a macro let's say dsp one so for dsp1 how do we call it is controller then slash dsp1 
दिस इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन कॉलिंग द मैक्रोज ऑफ अ हेरार की लेट से सी पी यू हियर एंड ऑफ ए मैक्रो विच इज पार्ट ऑफ टॉप लेवल डिजाइन सो अपार्ट फ्रॉम दिस देयर इज वन मोर टर्मिनोलॉजी दैट वी शुड लर्न हेयर एंड दैट इज स्टैंडर्ड सेल रोज सो स्टैंडर्ड सेल रोज आर समथिंग विच आर पार्ट ऑफ योर डिजाइन एंड द बिगिनिंग ऑफ द दिस रो इज लाइक दिस एंड ऑल योर स्टैंडर्ड सेल्स आर प्लेस्ड इन द रो ओनली सो यू कैन सी हियर these macros are also aligned to the rows and when you place a standard cell so let's say if there is a standard cell it will be placed like this so that it will be on the standard cell row properly it should be aligned with the row why because if you are not aligning then your placement will not be proper and there will be issues with the drcs and it is necessary for a proper placement and calculations of the timing then there is something more with that we need to learn that is manufacturing grid so the manufacturing grid is the smallest geometry that the semiconductor foundry can process and you can understand it as a smallest resolution in the design and all drawn geometries during the physical design let's say this macro all this should snap to this grid so that it will be easy for the designer also while masking fabrication uses this as a reference line then there is something more that we need to learn and that is utilization so let's say if this block it will have a length and breadth like this so the area will become so it's if this is h and this is b so it will be area will be h into b and that is here how much 600 cross 800 that is your top total area of cpu but inside that if whatever the area that is utilized by macros or the standard cells divided by this total area becomes your utilization we will see that in later videos also in the detail that's all for this video we will see more concepts in further videos till then please like share and subscribe to the channel and do give your important feedback in the comment section thank you